All right, so as you guys saw, I just got this new toy to play with for uh, when I sear my steaks. And uh, it's gonna be pretty fun. I haven't seared steaks yet. I have done salmons, I've done uh, tuna steaks, but I haven't done a steak yet. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what the sear looks like with the steak. Stay tuned. All right, so I went ahead and got my steak all seasoned and prepped. Uh, I'm using a one and a half inch thick ribeye steak, seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, a granulated onion, and um, some sprinkle of MSG. And I'm about to place it in my Nova oven. All right, y'all. I'm gonna be cooking my steaks at 135 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with 100% steam for about for about two and a half to three hours. Stay tuned. Before you start to sear. Remember to pat it really dry or else the water will just cause the browning to not happen and you'll just overcook your steak and not have that beautiful brown, golden brown crust that you desire. Alright y'all, to use this, the flamethrower, just turn the knob counterclockwise just a little bit until you hear a little noise and then you get a flame and you can adjust you can adjust how heavy you want it by just turning it counterclockwise. So stay tuned for this little sear. Man, you guys do not know how excited I am for this. The crust on it was awesome. Uh, I still need to um, learn the, how to use the flamethrower on a steak better because it took a little longer than I expected, about five minutes total. Uh, I don't know if that's the usual time, but I felt like I could have done it in like uh, a little less, like three minutes, but uh, first time. But I'm gonna give this a little, a little taste. Perfect medium rare just how I like it you can see how tender it is right now but let me give it a taste mmm that steak seasoned perfectly salt pepper garlic onion just a little bit of MSG pick up the flavor just a little bit 135 is my favorite temperature because it renders out all the fat and gives it still a nice juicy pink interior the sear pro I felt like is not as great as the cast iron but for something uh, as efficient as that without having um, the thought of burning it on the cast iron or overcooking it because as you can see there's like very little gray banding but on the cast iron I could get it like at least an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch of gray banding sometimes but the sear is almost as if you uh, seared it over charcoal because you get this nice charry flavor from the direct radiant heat and uh, yeah I think it was pretty good. If you guys want to buy the Sear Pro, this video is not sponsored or endorsed by them. I just wanted a way to quickly light my coals and sear my sous vide um, meats and vegetables and what what have you. But the link of the, of the store will be in the description. And hope you guys like this video. Subscribe and peace. Mmm, that steak. Seasoned perfectly, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, just a little bit of MSG, pick up the flavor just a little bit. 135 is my favorite temperature because it renders out all the fat and gives it still a nice juicy pink interior. The Sear Pro, I felt like is not as great as the cast iron, but for something uh, as efficient as that without having um, the thought of burning it on the cast iron or overcooking it because as you can see there's like very little gray banding but on the cast iron I could get it like at least an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch of gray banding sometimes but the sear is almost as if you uh, seared it over charcoal because you get this nice charry flavor from the direct radiant heat and uh, yeah I think it was pretty good if you guys want to buy the sear pro this video is not sponsored or endorsed by them I just wanted a way to quickly light my coals and sear my sous vide um, meats 
and vegetables and what what have you but the link with of the store will be in the description and hope you guys like this video subscribe and peace